have this blank pumpkin from Dollar Tree, this circle sign from Dollar Tree, and a piece of scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. So let's make a cute fall sign. The first thing I'm going to do is start taking off the strings and start heating up the glue under those little bows and taking everything off that came on the items. Now I'm going to start with this circle piece and I'm going to give it a layer of plaster color chalk paint. It took two. Then I'm going to dry brush on some of this mineral color in different directions and then some of this truffle color on top of that. And once all these layers are dry, I'm going to sand it all down. Next, I'm going to work on my pumpkin blank. I'm going to brush on some of this antique wax by Waverly and then I'm going to use a wet wipe to smear it all in. It just kind of gives it that stained look that I like. And then I'm also going to brush some on my circle sign just so that the colors kind of blend in well once I put the pumpkin on top of that. Sand it again and now I'm going to work on my paper cutouts for my pumpkin. Here I'm just creasing the edges around those shapes that are sticking up and cutting them out. Once I have all three then I start mod podging them onto the pumpkin. And once I have all my pieces on, I'm going to start sanding around the edges and sanding the paper just to look at, make it look a little more worn. And then I'm going around the edges again with some distressing ink. Once I get that done, I'm going to Mod Podge over the top to seal it all in. I decided to give my circle a little brush of white because it got kind of a little darker than I wanted. Now I'm going to wrap some of this jute string around the top of the pumpkin just to give it some texture and um, some definition there. I'm going to apply some uh, tacky glue to the back and then also give it a little bit of hot glue just to hold it in place until that tacky glue dries really well. And now it's time to start layering on my floral pieces. I started with some cattails, then I just started adding on um, like a little sunflower and some neutral colored leaves behind that. Then I added some little maroon pumpkins that I thought matched my scrapbook paper really well. I put a couple of those on. And then I'm adding in some green leaves with a touch of orange just to give it a little bit of fall color. And also some reddish leaves that match my scrapbook paper. So I'm just trying to give it a combination of kind of neutral colors and a little um, accent colors here. putting in some flowers to fill that space on the bottom and another one of those green leaves and then I have this little acre and then I'm adding to the bottom too. Now I'm going to make my bow. I kind of waited to the end because I wanted to see what colors came out in my project. I wasn't quite sure but I ended up just doing a simple uh, little piece of drop cloth in the back and a um, kind of a red and tan or maroon and tan ribbon on top. This is some berry wire garland here that I'm going to put behind my bow. I wrapped it around a dowel rod to make the little curly cues and now I'm just gluing it all at the top of my pumpkin. And I guess it didn't record but I stamped on the words gather here. These are stamps that I got from Dollar General. I'm just distressing it with ink around the edges and crumpling it up to make it look old. Then I'm going to add a piece of jute string and I'm going to um, tie it onto the top of my pumpkin stem and then I'm going to glue it in place so that it stays where I want it to be. And now the last thing I have to do is add on that hanger. So I'm putting some jute string in through the back, tying a little knot in the front to keep it from pulling back through and there it is. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you love it, be sure to let me know in the comments and don't forget to share it around. Have a blessed day.